So Robert Spillane has been the topic of many Steelers fans on whether he can start or not. And if you don't want to watch this full video, I'll just give you the answer quick. I think he's a borderline starter. I don't think he's a starter for us necessarily because I think he's a high tier backup, which is still a very valuable piece. I think he can come in a game and give you a couple splash plays. As you see here, he can give you a sack, a forced fumble. Like he's gonna pop out at one point in a game, but when it comes to consistency, I don't really think he's there. And that's where I would judge a full-time starting linebacker or somebody who's trying to be a full-time starting linebacker off of. But as you see right here, they do seem to have confidence in him when it comes to pass coverage, even though this does go for 34 yards. It's just really Lamar extending the play because you can't expect a linebacker to hang around with a quick, speedy slot receiver for that long. But for the most part, this is good coverage. Again, I don't think any of our linebackers, not even Devin Bush, is going to have a great time covering a slot receiver when the play is extended. But let's talk about the consistency things better phrasing probably is natural ability things but right here it's going to be a gift to jk dobbins of course an extended one because it is a read option he doesn't really have the sideline to sideline speed that you would like to see from a Steelers linebacker. And you know, I think teams would see that he's not the fastest or most athletic. So they would attack sideline to sideline and try to get him in a bad position like right here. And that's why you see the Steelers talking to these linebackers like Chas Surratt, Cameron Grone, Zayvon Collins, JOK, because they want those faster guys. And that's no offense to Robert Spillane or anything like that. He almost got there mostly because because his hustle and effort and that's what I love about him and that's why he can step in as that number three linebacker on your depth chart and give you some really good backup reps like right there those are the splash plays that I'm talking about right he's gonna make a big hit he's gonna get a force fumble he's gonna get an interception something like that and with that you could definitely say that he's the best backup linebacker you can have but as I said before when it comes to consistency he's not going to do it for you he's not going to be that guy who's your protection and security on that second level because he's not the best at getting off his blocks as we see right there and that's really important because in today's day and age as you saw with the Super Bowl running the football is gonna be first priority for a lot of teams especially in our division and we're gonna need another linebacker next to Devin Bush that can get off his blocks and be again that security on that second level especially when it comes to the run game but Spillane is still super valuable as we see right here he's not gonna get off his block and it's kind of too aggressive but the reason I say that is because once that rookie linebacker we draft comes in he's not gonna be starting right away we're gonna need somebody that can kind of fill in for him at first and once he hits that rookie wall <laughs> we're also going to need somebody who can give us good reps and Spillane can do that for you and if he's in the right position he can go out and make a really good play as we see right here he does exactly that and while he may not be the fastest or most athletic he makes his money by just going hard on every play giving you that full effort and that's exactly what you want so this last example for me is a perfect example of why he's a great backup just not full-time starter right here it's his job to get off his block but he cuts to that inside because well he's held up on that block so that's all he can do and he lets Nick Chubb roam through that outside let me know what you guys think about Robert Spillane though again as we see here I just don't think he has the abilities to be that full-time starter for us but I hope you guys enjoyed the video that's it for me on this one peace